Alright, here's a little uh, video showing what we did today. It's the end of the day, Sunday. It's a long day working in the garage. And finally got the motor mounted. So, this is about 80% done now. So, what we did is we got two metal bands, like this one here. This is one of them. It's uh, two and a half inches wide and a uh, quarter inch thick steel. And uh, I had them bent up because I don't have any way to roll steel like that. Um, and uh, so they're semicircles, they're half the circumference of the motor. So what I ended up doing was I got one underneath there, and I had them oversized so I could fit some rubber in between them to uh, just help grip the motor a little bit to keep it nice. Um, and then I welded little extension plates, you can kind of see, um, right up the edge here. They were about uh, two and a half inches tall and a little bit wider than the piece of metal there, so I cut them down to size afterwards. And then we were going to use the actual motor mounts, there's one of them there, um, but they actually hit on the side of the motor. So, uh, that wasn't going to work. So what we ended up doing was we had a set of um, strut rod bushings, urethane strut rod bushings, and we drilled a hole in the arm of the frame for the motor, where the motor mount would go. Normally the motor mount would go on that little surface right there. And uh, a bolt would go through it, so that hole on the side, and uh, that would hold the motor mount on, and then that would be bolted to the motor keep it in place. So what we did was we drilled a hole in the frame there and uh, we put one bushing on the top with it's got like a little uh, nub part that's a little smaller than the diameter of the bushing and that fits into this into the arm and then there's another one underneath here that the hole in the frame is the size where it fits into the frame so let's see if I can get the camera up in there. I don't know if I can. Turn the light on. Yeah, so da, da, da. there it is. You can see the bolt and the bushing there going up in the frame. And uh Yeah, so we did that on both sides. And those are our new mounting points. So then, what I did was I started fabricating the two arms. And the arms are completely made from scratch. Started with a little plate here, which was two inches wide. It was three and a half inches long. And what I did, started with that. Along the side of it, I lined up this bracket, which happened to fit in with the top of those quarter inch pieces I was talking about that extended the, the hoop. So it gave me this side, and then I did this side over here the same way, but I put that nice little bend on it there, uh, so it's about a uh, 30 degree bend. I put that on there using my homemade metal brick. It's just, uh, let's see if I can get to retract here. So I got, it's a 20 ton press, and so there it is, Harbor Freight, 20 ton press, and um, this was a piece of metal I found in a dumpster once, it had that nice angle on it, so what I did was I just found a piece of metal that fit over the this shaft here, and uh, milled it on a milling machine, heated the whole thing red hot, and welded it together. And then I just used a V-block, a machining V-block, as my guide, and I just squish it until it bends. So, works great. And the uh, only problem is it does leave that little bit of line right there, but not a big deal. You know, economy. So, I did the same thing over here. You can see that bend. Um, 
And then once I got that all welded up with the sides and the front, it was structurally sound. I welded in these little back plates here. There's one there and one right here. And then I set in these top plates here on the two, grinded them smooth. And then I just beveled these down for just for a little better look, rounded the corners off on them, make them look nice. So now the next step, uh, some night this week, I'm getting late tonight, I'll uh, get this plate in position here. And uh, that's going to go basically like that on top of those on each side. And what I'm going to do is I got some little plates here. So we'll weld little brackets onto there. And then they'll be at the same angle as this. And then we got these grade 8 half inch bolts that'll drop down through there like that with jam flange nuts that'll get welded in on the bottom of the arms. So you just tighten it all down, it'll pull the bottom up, clamping it all in the ring, and then you got two half inch bolts there so that'll drop it into the points of the motor, locking it in. All right, that's this weekend's progress. All right, here I am Saturday night starting work on uh, the mounts. I'm uh, welding extensions onto the lower uh, hoop of the motor. And then uh, Sunday morning, here I am. I'm going to start working on the uh, left side, the driver's side, um, engine mount arm. And... Uh, what I ended up doing here was I cut two plates. Uh, they were two inches wide and three and a half inches long and bolted those down to the frame with urethane bushings. Uh, and then I uh, just used the press right there with a jig I made to, uh, to bend an angle in one of the arms. So now we're on to the, uh, to the passenger side mount at a different ang camera angle here. So what I'm doing is I'm just uh, cutting all the pieces to fit. I had to cut some angles on the ends of the pieces of metal. And uh, if you look closely at the piece I keep bringing in and out, you can see um, where it had a bend in it that I did again on the press. So now I'm uh, welding it all together, getting it all set, and then uh, come back with the grinder and uh, clean up all the extra welds, uh, put them on heavy so that they could be ground down nice and smooth. So then what I ended up doing was I, uh, I welded in some little vertical plates um, right here. And this was at the front of the small bracket that I'll use to hold it down to give me a, a vertical surface. And just uh, welded in one of them, sizing the other one. And uh, there it is, just welded that one in too. So now I'll grind those down smooth and uh, cut off the excess on the top. And uh, then I'll set in the uh, the top surfaces of the uh, of the little arms, and uh, grind it all down smooth, and uh, creates a pretty nice looking structure. Each little arm's made up of six pieces. Hope you enjoyed.